Hey, welcome back friends. So Momentum Adventure Vehicle. This is the all new 22 Mav from Grand Design. This is gonna be the smallest uh, toy hauler in their budget friendly Mav lineup. Uh, today we're gonna walk through the outside and then we're gonna do the inside. It's a very interesting floor plan. I think it's gonna check a lot of boxes for you guys. Hope you stick around. I'm quite see sure you have seen enough of my face. Interesting story with this little Mav. Uh, it was being shipped down to a dealer near me and Grand Design called and said, hey, you wanna do a quick video on it? I don't think anyone's done a video on this unit yet. I said, sure, yeah, drop it by. It'll hang out at, this, at our house for about an hour or so and I will definitely do a video on it. So here we are. You'll also have to excuse me, I've got a little sinus stuff going on. We were in the desert, got me. Uh, anyway, you don't wanna hear that. So here, yeah, here we are. Got my little cheat sheet here. Uh, unloaded vehicle weight is 5,600 pounds. Hitch weight is 915. Now, before you flip out about that, obviously this is a toy hauler. It's gonna have a heavier hitch, thinking that if you put a toy in the back, that's gonna lighten your hitch up a little bit. Uh, exterior length is 26 feet, six inches. Tire size, 15 inch. Awning size is 17 foot awning. 96 fr uh, gallons of fresh, 78 gallons of gray, and 39 gallons of black. So, the force, of course, the first thing that sticks out about the MAV units is their stick and tin units. And this is the, uh, this is the Transcend uh, material they use on these things. And it is, yeah, it's good to go. I, I love that they, for stick and tin, I love this siding. This is easily my favorite siding. Uh, I think you're going to get a little bit better gauge aluminum. I think it's an 040 here on the front thickness and an 030 here on the sides but yeah it's not going anywhere it's 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 a good siding and for the stick and tin market this is about as good as it gets so yeah it's also a wide body i want to make sure i mention that 101 inches wide so let's go down the side here you got a small compartment here this is like kind of your convenience center here and this is where you're gonna get all your hookups going you do have solar standard on the mavs so you can see your solar charge controller up in there and, uh, and yeah, here's your battery disconnect. You guys know what this stuff is. This is your fresh water fill here. This is your city water down here. This is let you know what's going on up there in the solar. Here's your TV hookups and you got a GFCI right there. And then you've also got a, a motion sensor light. You can turn it on all the time or you can have it on motion sensor and uh, it'll come on that way as well. Now, huge thing about this little unit, 5,168 pounds of payload. Now I would expect a good payload on a toy hauler for sure, but 5,000 pounds, that's no joke. That's, that's rocking and rolling there. Um, this is going to be your water heater here. You can see that going on there. There's your water heater. I think your furnace is gonna be on the other side. And yeah, nice graphics package here. You see your dump valves down here. Now it looks like we lost a cap. Somebody lost a cap going tr probably on transport. Obviously the dealer will give you a new cap. That happens all the time. But uh, yeah, you got a gray tank pool here, black tank pool. You've only got one area to dump. I do like that. Now you also notice no slides. So this unit has zero slides. A lot of you will really like that. Um, and I get it, I definitely get it. This looks like this is gonna be a shower port. Yes, that's what that is. This is your black tank flush right here. There's your vent for your oven. Your kitchen's gonna be right here. You'll see that in just a second. Here is your power hookup. Obviously you can't have it on the back because I've got it down in what I would call entertainment mode. So these, uh, these toy haulers generally have a sleeping mode, a sleeping setup, an entertainment setup, and if, then of course a toy haul setup, a hauling setup. So right now I've got it, you'll see when we go to the interior, I've got it set up for the, uh, the entertainment aspect of it. So these ladders, these side ladders on the toy haulers, again, because you have your patio down over here, you just pull these pins, these come out, make your ladder, and it's, it's good to go. It's just 300 pound capacity, just like your regular, you know, rear ladders on your uh, new travel trailers or your fifth wheels. So yeah, here's your little patio back here. Very basic on the, on the, uh, on the Mavs. You know, budget friendly is, is one of the goals here. It's not to be the most budget friendly, but um, budget is on the mind here when you're looking, talking about the Mavs. But you can see, you, know, you got your nice little gate. These things are a cinch 
to uh, put up and down. Very easy. I'm not 100% um, you know, fluent with the toy hauler stuff. And it was simple, super simple for me to figure all that stuff out. Uh, LED lighting right here. Again, we mentioned that 17 foot awning over there. Got your stabilizer jacks. Now, black steelies, but they're made in the USA. So I love it. I'll take that. You got your cable hookup out here on the campsite, of course. And then you got another GFCI to plug in your TV or whatever else, a blower or whatever else. You got Rockford Fosgate throughout. Sorry for the basketball goal. We are at our house. So we, uh, we got Rockford Fosgate throughout the unit. So even though this is a, quote, budget-friendly uh, toy hauler, you still got some nice upgrades. And then, yeah, look at the nice package. You got the M right here for Momentum. And I don't know if you saw in the intro or not, but, you know, in black and Momentum Adventure vehicle. I thought that was pretty cool. I like how they did that. And then you've got your uh, furnace here up front. And of course, a nice flag holder. Uh, up here, you've got your battery compartment, two 20 pound tanks. I don't think I mentioned that. Of course, electric tongue jack. Most everything has that nowadays. But yeah, a good looking unit from the outside. Why don't we go inside? All right, as you step into the 22 Mav, you've got a Murphy here to the right with some storage up top. And again, I've got it in entertainment mode. We'll put it in sleeping mode here in a second. You got a little, what I call flip-flop sofas. I think they call them rollover sofas. Nice storage underneath there. The bathroom is, it's not very big, okay? I will say that, but it works. You know, folks that want something like this, they don't need a, a throne. They just need somewhere to go potty and shower. And that's what you got here. Now, I've had this size shower, I think, this may be a little bit bigger than the AIM that we once had, but uh, yeah, it works for me. Six foot one, and it does just fine. The potty's a little bit tight. I sat there and I was able to angle that way, and it works just fine. So yeah, it, lo it looks super tight. It is tight, but uh, but it actually works. So now but the big thing about this unit is when I'm back here sitting on the sofa I just showed you, there's a ton of room here, and. I was really impressed when I put it in quote unquote entertainment mode, how much room there actually is. You know, you could bring yourself a folding table, put it out here. You could even put it up against the wall and, and serve dinner. You know, you could have a little buffet or, you know, a potato bar or a taco bar or something like that. I, yeah, it's a lot of room. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, we'll put it in sleeping mode in just a second. You can see where the bunks come down and then that flip flops over to a bed. And then of course behind me, you got the Murphy. But your Furion fridge, this is gonna be a 12 volt fridge. Everything Grand Design makes, I think now, is a 12 volt fridge. So nice size there for that. Overhead storage, nice deep overhead storage. You can see that there. The store, they did a good job on the storage here. They even put a little drawer next to your fuse panel, which that's what that is. And I uh, appreciate that. Microwave here, just a regular microwave. I don't think that is a, uh, one of the fancy ones. Good storage, good storage. Nice place to put forks, spoons, all that fun stuff. Big storage under here as well. Nice big farm sink in here. Stainless steel farm sink. Good looking countertops. Nice window on this side. I'm digging that. I love the big campsite window here. That's pretty cool. And then it took me a second to even see this storage when it first showed up. Yeah, nice storage up here as well. Here is your controller for your Fosgate stuff. And before I forget, here's your little convenience center right here. You've got an awning. You've got your exterior light, interior lights, water heater, electric water heater gas, and your water pump, and then all of your information on your battery and your tanks are up here as well. So obviously no slide buttons because this doesn't have a slide. Coming out here, you got, again, what I call a flip-flop sofa here. This is going to roll over and become a small bed. Um, so that works out well. Obviously, you got a huge bunk up here. We'll see in just a second. And the recliners come in it as well. Now, you know, of course, I got them out here on the porch when I'm showing the kids this unit. This, this is the first place they go. And Townley's like, I would love to come out here and have a cup of coffee. Now, make sure I show you this as well because we were looking at this. And, again, I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to the the uh, toy hauler stuff. And I was thinking, they don't have a screen here, but no, they certainly do. It's, it just comes straight down from the top. Pop you down. 
And there you go. You're screened off from the bugs and the uglies. So yeah, that was, uh, I was glad to see that. I was really, really hoping they didn't leave that out. And of course they didn't. But yeah, so let's take this thing. Now it's in an entertainment mode. Let me get a good look in entertainment mode. Again, I thought it'd be fun to put a folding table there with some dinner there and, you know, kids over here and then adults back here, maybe, um, you know, that's what I'm envisioning. Let's put it in sleeping mode and take a look. So you'll notice that this is not the happy jack system. This is a manual system on shocks. And I, I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm not mad about that. And I'll, and I'll tell you why it's one less thing to go wrong. So the way this works, of course, if you're, if this is closed, you'll probably be coming in from this side. Just kind of grab the middle here, pull down. You'll see the shocks popping down here. I'm trying to be really careful because I'm, it's, it's a smooth process actually. And then come here in the front. And that makes a huge, huge bunk. And we turn around back here and I've, usually it's stored back here on the mattress, but the ladder that goes with it is right here. I'll put that out in just a second, but I wanted to make sure and show you how that functioned. All right, so we've got that down and then we'll come over here. Now I'm doing this one handed, keep in mind. And these have little brackets here. So we're gonna pop that one in. And then I should have done this first, of course. I'm gonna pop that one in and this is gonna fold over into what I would consider, you know, probably a kid's bed. You know, I'm 6'1", my feet will be hanging over that big time. But for a, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine year old, you're gonna be rocking just fine right there. So yeah, there's that bed. And then let's come up here. I'm trying to do it in real time, so I'll show you how simple this stuff really is. Let me get this ladder out of here right quick. All right, got the ladder up there for you. It just slides right in to these brackets right here. Very simple. And then this flip-flop sofa pops over. You got a couple of things to secure that with here. And... There it is, okay, right there. And then this pops down. And I've got to come over here, pop that off. And I'm gonna pull this mattress down right here. There we go. And now we are in sleeping mode. So you can see over here, let me crawl back here a little bit. You've got USB over there. You've got a hooks up there. You've got a plug-in behind on this side as well. So now obviously you don't have nightstands on both sides, but you do have plug-ins on both sides. So yeah, there's that. So here's, here's what sleeping mode looks like. You'd have, you know, I would envision probably mom and dad here on a queen bed. So there's your queen. And then you're gonna turn over here. You got a little bed here and you got a big, big bunk up here. I mean, this is way bigger than a queen. I mean. California queen. Now this side is probably a queen, but front to back massive. So I mean you could put If you've got little ones you can put one two three You could put four kids up there if they you know if they wouldn't roll into each other and, and kill each other But yeah, there's sleeping mode now. Let's turn this into hall mode Okay, here we are in hall mode. So toy hauler mode and from the back of this lip right here All the way up to those two drawers. You're looking at 17 feet now, if you wanted to leave your Murphy bed down, you'd have uh, 15 feet, eight inches. That narrow point right there between the bathroom and that wall, that's 60 and a half inches. And then if you go from the, the refrigerator over here all the way to the wall, you're gonna have 71 and a half inches. So pretty legit space in here. It's, it's really not that bad at all. Now, if you're going from the bathroom wall right here back, you're going to get uh, 13 foot 6 inches. So that's what you're working with. And then from the over here, I'm, I'm trying to, I got my cheat sheet right here. Over here from this counter over to this area is 75 inches. So you've got some good, really, really good spot for hauling golf carts, side by side. I mean, a lot of people are going to be using motorcycles and side by sides in here. And um, you've got room for that. Certainly in your height. Let's not let's not forget that um, I've got, Again, I've got my cheat sheet right here. Your interior height is 84 inches and you've got 77 inches for 
your toys. So back in, back in that area is going to be 84, but right here underneath the bed, you're going to be at 77. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, two foot long, 24 inch beaver tail right here. And you've got all of your, uh, what do they call these things? Most secure tie down straps. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 tie down straps in here. So when it comes down to it, you're definitely going to be able to move your toys around. Okay, friends, there you go. The fresh look at the 22 Mav from Grand Design the Momentum, the Momentum line, the Stick and Tin line, their new line of toy haulers from uh, from Grand Design. I, I like it. I mean, I you know, it's big enough. It's not too big. It's got a lot of room. I mean, I, we're not toy hauler folks because we don't have toys to haul. But yeah, if I was if I was in the market, this would certainly you know, be on the investigate more list. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys are good. I hope this video was useful. And as always, if it was, consider subscribing. See ya.